All right, allow me to share with you project nine from the Arduino um, project book. Um, this project comes from the Arduino Fundamental Exam project book, and this is project nine. And project nine is a motorized pinwheel. Um, so this project is using um, a 10 kilo ohms resistor, a diode, 9 volt battery, a switch, a MOSFET, and a motor. Um, and this all will come together to create um, a motorized pinwheel. Now, there are several things that um, is new with this um, because the Arduino board do not push enough um, power to power the motor. So therefore, we are using um, additional power being pushed from a 9-volt battery. And in order um, to have this work effectively without um, damaging the circuit, we are going to create a gate um, using um, resistors. So we're going to use a resistor and we are going to use a diode to control the flow of um, the current. So let me explain a bit here um, what a diode is. A diode is um, much like your LED where current um, flows in one direction. So current flows through the diode in one direction. A diode um, is a two-terminal electronic component um, that conducts current primarily um, in one direction. So the flow of the current moves only in one direction. Um, and, and, and so for, um, because of that, it will only be pushing the current to the motor. Um, and we are also using a transistor. Um, transistor here is a semiconductor device um, and it is used to amplify or switch electronic signals so um and elect and electrical power so the transistor is used like i said um it is a semiconductor device um used to amplify or switch electronic signal and electrical power Transistors um, are one of the basic building blocks of modern electronics. Um, and it, it is composed of a semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals. So the one that I'm using here has three terminals. Um, one is going to be connected to the ground one is be, going to be connected to pin 9 um, on the Arduino board and the other is going to be connected to a diode which is connected to the ground of the motor okay so that there um, is 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 enabling the gate um to cut the 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 flow of the current to the um to the motor and it is all going to be um pushed using a, a push switch okay so we are learning something new. We are learning how to create, um, not only how to create or to use uh, the Arduino and the breadboard to control a motor without using a motor board, but we, we are learning how to use these other electronic components um, such as resistors, 
um, transistors, um, and diodes. All right, so um, this this is an amazing project. What we can take away from this is um, the ability to utilize these um, electric electronic components to create or to to add to our circuit. Um, and when when you finish this, what you can do is try to use um, a potentiometer maybe to control the speed of the motor. Um, so this is what the diagram looks like here. I'm how it is set up. So I have my uh, my push button pin here um, being connected to positive, um, and it is connected to pin two. Um, and it is also I'm using a 10 kilo ohms resistor here. Um, I have my diode here connected to the motor to the ground and i have my mosfet um, which is my transistor here um, and this is connected to pin 9. so let me scroll down here and show you the schematics of So this is this is what it looks like. Um, All right, a little more a little more about about this project and let me pull up my and where's my code? Where's my sketch? Motorized pinwheel here. And it's a, it's it's a pretty simple um pretty simple piece of piece of code. Um the in my setup I am um, initialize my pins my my motors uh, my moto and my switch um so i use pin mode um in setup so this remember in your setup um, anything in your setup only run once um when your program starts running and then um, anything in your um, loop is run continuously so in the loop it basically what it does it checks the the switch state whether the switch is on or off and if the switch is on then it sends power to the motor um so you see switch state equal high um it sends that high to the motor else um if the switch state is at off then um low power goes to the motor which um is off so it's either ones or zeros either it is connected and sending power or it is not sending power to the motor. So it's a uh, pretty basic um, piece of sketch. Um, so what, what we're doing here, we're controlling um, the motor with the Arduino. Um, and this is, like I said, it's a bit more complicated than just controlling an LED um, because the first thing, the, the motor needs more power um, to run and how the motor runs when when the motor is spinning the motor creates its own um, power it creates its own electricity and if you want to check that out if you have a, a simple motor you can connect an led to the back of the motor um, one to the positive one to the negative and then spin the motor with your hands and you you'll see that that um, LED will light. If you spin it one side and it does not light, try spinning it the next side and it will light. So the motor creates its own electricity, which can um, in turn burn out your, your, your circuit. So that is the reason why we created this gate and we're using the diode, we're using the transistor to control the flow of current, um, basically, or control the, the flow of um, Electric electricity, right? Um, so let me hook up the project and show you what it looks like. 
Give me a few seconds here. So what um, comes with the kit, um, this comes with the kit, this is the pinwheel that will be connected to um, the moto. Simple, simple um, cardboard setup here. Um, so this is what this looks like connected to the breadboard, connected to the Arduino. Um, I have my push button here. Um, so I'm right, yes, so this is it. Um, and if I push the push button, then the pinwheel when i'm not pushing it it's off um if i push the pin button then so like i said it's a pretty um a pretty simple project uh, much much like the project that was created the first project um turning on the LED using the push button, the first project that was done. Um, the only thing that is different is that um, this project uses, utilizes the transistor and the diode to create uh, a, a, a gate um, to control the flow of um, current. Um, so I hope that um, this video was, um, it, it, it helped you in some way. And um, you can, again, like I said, um, always say, try to use um, the knowledge that was gained to enhance your other projects. Think outside the box. Think, think about things that you can create using um, a moto. And um, you, can, you can create um, robots. You can create robotic cars. Um, without using a motor board so you can use um, a pretty simple setup like this to control um, how the motor spins and again I say you can use a potentiometer to control the speed of the motor um, so I'll see you guys next week with um, project 10